Good morning and welcome. My name is Stories. It is not a dead end. Provision and abundance. Before we continue with this one, let us pray. Father, I thank you, I bless you, I glorify your name, Jesus, Lord, thank you for yet another opportunity to share your word, Lord, I pray that this word is going to be a blessing, this word is going to be an encouragement, this word is going to be a revelation to somebody, may you ever hear this word, Lord, hear that which you are saying, anoint your word, Lord, even as I release it, in Jesus' name I pray, amen, Exodus chapter 15, verses 23 to 25, it says, and when they came to Marah, they could not drink of the waters of Mara, for they were bitter. Therefore, the name of it was called Mara. And the people murmured against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? And he cried unto the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree, which when he had cast into the waters, the waters were made sweet. There he made for them a statute and an ordinance, and there he proved them. Ruth chapter 1 verses 20 to 22 it says and she said unto them call me not Naomi call me Mara for the Almighty has dealt very bitterly with me so Naomi returned and Ruth the Moabites her daughter-in-law with her which returned out of the country of Moab and they came to Bethlehem in the beginning of the barley harvest. You see, there are those of you who have been advancing well, maybe in one area or another in your life. You have been you have been advancing in your calling. And then there are those of you who have been progressing you have been progressing well in your assignment and you have been moving on well in fulfilling your purpose. You have been in this season that you are close, you are close to the glory of God and then suddenly you found yourself at a dead end. The passage of scripture that we read, it says, they came to so it means they were advancing well they were progressing well in the season that they were in until that point they had not come across such a challenge but then suddenly a dead end now many of you have found yourself in such a situation you have found yourself in a seemingly dead end and you are confronted with this challenge that you have never encountered before now you can't see a way out because what you thought was going to sustain you looks toxic what was supposed to quench your thirst and bring you relief has turned bitter and harmful to you. What you thought was going to refresh you is now a frustration. You are at a dead end and now you are frustrated with God. You are frustrated with the situation and you are frustrated even with the people. I don't know exactly what it is that you have been advancing in and now it seems like a dead end. For everybody it is different. It may be in your ministry, it may be in your business, or in your marriage or in your relationship maybe it is not a dead end that is what the Lord is saying you are in a place of provision you are in a place of abundance God is going to give you a strategy that is going to turn it around for you you already have the word of God with you now you have to give God back his word to work with it that place that seems like a dead end to you God is going to turn it around for you and you're going to see that he is doing a beautiful thing in your life. Yes, every time you find yourself between a rock and a hard place in your walk with the Lord, know that you've just entered miracle territory. That thing that has brought you frustration, that very thing that seems like it can no longer give you what you need, that place that seems like a dead end to you, that is making you bitter. 
is what is going to sustain you. That situation that is making you bitter, that circumstance that seems so bitter to you, God is turning it around and it is not a dead end. It's going to feed you. It's going to sustain you and it's going to quench your thirst, align your imagination with your belief system. You must align your perception with your belief system. Align your words and investment with your belief system. Some of you have found yourself in this seemingly dead end and you are in a place where death has touched your life and you are now reliving the bitter experience of the past season of your past seasons not realizing that God has already shifted you to a place of provision God has already shifted you to a place of abundance it is not a dead end it is a place of provision and it is a place of abundance Bethlehem means house of bread Naomi was in the house of bread but she was still caught up in what she had gone through she didn't even realize that God has already redirected her to a place of provision, to a place of abundance, scripture says it was the beginning of barley harvest it was a season of harvest it was a season of abundance it was a season of provision and yet Naomi thought that she had come to her end. She was not cognizant of where she was at. She was not cognizant of the season that was upon her. She was still relieving the bitterness of where she came from. She was still relieving the painful experience of her past season. God has already aligned you with his timing. You are not going to miss your season. It is not a dead end. You have entered into great harvest. There is abundance in that place. There is overflow that you have walked into. Stop focusing on the bitterness. Stop focusing on the bitterness of the situation and the circumstance that you went through. It is already past. That is another season. You have walked into a different season. That place that looks bitter to you is a place of miracle. Perceive right. You are in a place of provision. That is why God brought you there. Where you are. The season that you have walked into is of harvest. The season that you have walked into is of provision. That season that you have walked into, that place, it is of abundance. You are in perfect alignment with God's timing. You may have been touched with death in some area of your life and you may have seen what appears like loss and you think it is the end of you it is not a dead end where the enemy defeated you he's never gonna be able to do it again where death touched you it's never gonna be able to touch you again God is renewing your mind. God is renewing your intentions. He's renewing your dreams. Get up. Get up. Square your shoulders. It's not a dead end. It is a place of provision. It is a place of abundance. You have walked into a place of abundance and provision. It is not a dead end. It's not the end of you. May the Lord bless you. I love you so, so much. But the Lord loves you so much more. He loves you with an everlasting love. And there is nothing that can separate you from his love, which is in Christ Jesus. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you like always. I have to. I have to appreciate you. You know, they say that gratitude 
is the seat of favor so thank you all so much i do honestly i appreciate you all my viewers my subscribers thank you for giving for sewing into this ministry into my life liking sharing my videos commenting emailing me thank you so much for taking your time to do all that it is because of love and i do appreciate you and i'm praying for you and i'm standing with you in prayer blessings